What's up guys, it's RoosterMX back again with another video. Um, I know I haven't been uploading my personal videos, just me talking to y'all in about a week or two. Probably like, well ever since I sold the YZ really, uh, I made one just a uh, joke video. But um, uh, I'm back to tell y'all a couple of things right now. Um, this channel is back for, I can't promise you how long, but it's back for a couple weeks at least of the daily uploads. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go and say I got a new bike. It's not really a bike for me to personally ride every day and all that. I mean, I am for y'all guys. I'm going to do stuff on it. I'm going to mess around on it. Um, but I'll explain the reason why I got this bike and what it is after... So here it is. Um, this will be the first time you're seeing it because I'm not going to put it in the thumbnail and I'm not going to put any names in, uh, in the title. But it's a 2007 DRZ 125 four stroke. Um, it's kind of small. I, if I had to guess, I'd say it's around um, around the size of an 85 two stroke, like an uh, my high gear. Um, he had an 80, uh, RM85 two stroke. They look very similar, but power is not similar at all it's like a totally different bike um as most of y'all know most of y'all probably started on a in either, either a 85 or um you know a 100 or 125 ttr or drz or a klx you know something like that but the reason why i got this bike is i got it i picked it up yesterday actually last night but i didn't make a video because it was too late and all that but the reason why I got this bike is just because the price. Um, I've been looking around for a couple of week, uh, about a week or two now, or uh, yeah, about a week for um, an 85 two stroke or 125 um, four stroke, like one of these or something. And um, I found this one. It was kind of local, had about a 30 minute drive. But anyway, I uh, picked it up for really cheap, couldn't pass it up because I see potential in a 2007. DRZ 125 that you can find for really cheap with no problems that is actually this clean now as far as um, Motor wise and all that goes there is no problems whatsoever right now uh, The only thing is is this uh, fender I'm gonna get drill some holes and put some stitches there or zip ties, but uh, stitches It's cracked right there, but it's um, you know, it's fine. It stays uh really clean actually for 2007 as you can see it's a little dirty uh down there and like you know it could just it, it could use a cleaning to, to look a little better and um i could probably sell it right now the way it is i could probably sell it for a 200 dollars profit i'd say but um i picked up uh uh this super cleaner it's called super cleaner it's like simple green uh it's just a degreaser and i'm going to use that when i wash the bike today uh, I had the kickstand and the chain guard you can see the two bolts and then the kickstand I hate the kickstand it came out like um, like six inches like way back here and just was in the way of everything and a chain guard or a dirt bike I don't get why you need that because um, you know you have all these guides up here and the rollers and I mean you know it's not a bicycle you don't need a chain guide on there uh, also fix the the clutch it was a little bit um just kind of like no clutch and then it let out like right there same with the brake it was like really really loose fixed it a little bit to my liking uh but this is the bike guys i'm gonna get on with uh cleaning it up today and probably a little bit of ride not sure yet uh got some stuff to do but that's pretty much what i'm doing with this bike okay i went inside uh for a little bit I had to go somewhere real quick um, we're just going to ride around. I'm going to test it out. I've rode it, uh, like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So, you know, it's cold and everything, but, uh, we're just going to ride around on the old bike. I'm going to talk to y'all about it. And I left out some other stuff about this bike free in the, uh, other video. 
So uh, we're gonna kick it, or we're gonna rot it. He said normally use uh, use the choke when it's cold, but uh, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, more gas don't help, but uh, it kind of it kind of won't auto right now while uh, while it's cold. But uh, it idles when it gets warmed up and everything. It, it idles fine. It runs fine, really. But um, uh, another thing he was uh, he showed me. Uh, he turned the gas on yesterday when I was there, and uh, <clears throat> out of this overflow right here was a bunch of gas. You can see it's starting to drip out of the overflow right now. If I mess with it, gas will uh, leak out. <clears throat> but all I think that's wrong with it is the uh, the floats are sticking, or it could be needed to be cleaned, or uh, uh, the needle valves, uh, or one of the jets, or anything. It could be. Um, let's see. Yeah, I still want to die a little bit, but all that, I just need to mess with the carburetor because, uh, I mean, I know what a carburetor does, and that's my CR did that, but um, it runs pretty good, I'd say. But it feels really weird being on this bike. It feels like a little pit bike because, um, you know, and the power is crazy how, how different it is between... A 125 two stroke and a 125 two stroke, but uh, I just got it to flip it. But let's go ahead and go uh, because um, I can talk to y'all while we ride. Now I'm gonna go around the neighborhood a little bit just to get it warmed up a little bit. But um, uh, the trails, I haven't been in the trails in a while, so I don't know what they're gonna look like. And then these forks, since it's not a race bike, it's a trail bike, these forks are way, way, way spongier. And it's just, I really don't like uh, these forks, but it's not really, you know, I'm not gonna put the money in buying some different forks. We'll do a little, uh, I'll do a little first through, um, uh, I don't know, whatever gear I get to when I get around this corner and down this hill, uh, and we'll go back, I guess, maybe do a little wheelies on the way. I want to try to learn how to wheelie, because I, I used to be able to wheelie my 100 really, really good, like, I mean, I could wheelie as long as, um, as long as I really wanted to, but, um, this feels, it, I mean, it really feels like my 100, but yellow. Same size and everything. Uh, my uh, my XR 100, it had an FMF on it, so it, it sounded better and uh, added a little bit more torque. Uh, but be right here, let's wait for this. Of course, when I want to try to do something, the dang truck comes. So we'll uh, we'll go up here, let this truck pass. do a little pull right here starting from first gear uh, as you can see it's idling right now so uh, yeah we're gonna do a little I'm not even going to do anything else out here. There's too many cars. Uh, yeah. Go back to the house. Drive some trails. That felt weird. Oh. 
They just run out of gear for the wheelies, but uh, you know, you, you can make it work. Go see how this thing does in the trails. Kind of bogged a little bit. Thought I left it. Uh, thought I left it. Um, the gas off. Okay, I'm just gonna go slow real quick. Oh yeah, much better than the 125 in the trails. You can actually go, actually handle it through those. Uh, yeah, those tight little spaces like this. It's actually a fun little box in this trail. Oh yeah. I just have to buy me another one of these when I sell it. That's kind of fun. But it's the first time I've been through it on here. Uh, and then uh, two strokes, you know, they don't backfire. It, this one does. And four strokes do. I should say, and uh, I like the sound. I like the sound of that backfire. Sounds good. Or the yeah, backfire. Looks fun. Let me uh let me get off right here and just check everything real quick. Just looking over, you know. Yeah, it, it's definitely gonna need a little bit in the car because if you hold on. If you just let it go down like that and you try to give it full. I don't know. Normally it bogs, but you know. But the main reason I got this bike anyway, I can go ahead and tell y'all, is uh I got it for a really good price, so if I can resell it, I can clean it up and sell it, and make a cut uh I'd say right now I could make um, probably a $200 more right now, like actually just, just cleaning it up a little bit and selling it as is. I could probably make like $200 on this bike than what I got it for. Um, so that, and plus it's just something to ride and to mess around on and stuff and, and just, just uh, talk to all y'all. So, um, that's another reason this works out. Maybe the maybe the neighbors won't get mad at me now. I gotta put a little four stroke. No, I don't not too loud. I don't guess so. I don't think it's loud as it can't be as loud as a two stroke. fun bike I guess I mean is it you know guys it's a it's a it's a 125 four stroke y'all know what they are and that's all it is nothing special about it oh that hurt really just hit my foot on something oh my god these slides man I'm telling you they'll get you
want to show y'all something really weird that I noticed about this bike. I don't know why it's, it's like this, but um, uh, all right. So you let out on the clutch, and normally a bike would just shut off, you know, because if you let out on the clutch without no gas, it just shuts off. But watch this. Like, I, look, all right. Look, I'm just gonna take off without. I mean, yeah, y'all see that? That is weird. guys i think that's enough for hop for today uh probably gonna put it up wash it and uh you know just get it clean for today i guess but overall i think she runs good and uh it's a good box for the price i paid for so uh just need to fix that pretty bad before it gets worse but I'm not going to buy a new one because me doing wheelies might break it off anyway. So why would I buy a new one? If I break it off, then that's just more money I got to spend. And I'm trying not to spend any money at all for parts and prices on this bike. I'm really just wanting to just uh, clean it up real good. Put all the parts that need to be uh, cleaned in some degreaser and clean it and stuff. And you can see the gas is coming out, so that's another little issue. Just small little stuff on this bike. But, uh, that. I don't know what take that is. I guess it just goes like that. Um, oh wow, there's a bolt missing. Gotta get one of those. But, yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. You know, y'all know, Roost MX is back. So. Be expecting some more videos. See y'all tomorrow, guys.